All right, this is Big Dog Sport, and we're back here with the small block Ford EFI Victor 5.8 intake manifold. Um, previous video that we did with this manifold, we flowed the number um, one and the number four runner. The number one runner bolted together with the upper and lower uh, attached did 269 CFM and the number four bolted together um, with the upper and the lower attached did um, 270. So we're back here with this um, staged reported. Now, as you see, the lower has already been painted. The upper, we didn't paint it yet. Um, it has to go through another round of sandblasting. Um, but all the port work is done. Um, we may or may not do some cosmetic work on the welded part. The welded part that we added material to the throttle body tunnel, you can't really see bolted together. Um, you can kind of see from the side here. But we added material to the base because the customer wanted a 90 millimeter throttle body tunnel. Okay. Um, now with these manifolds, you can kind of see, well, you can't really, yeah, you kind of see, you see where it necks down. So in order to get the volume, you have to stretch the top and, 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 and the lower, um, the lower particularly, which involves well and more material underneath here. So you can drop the floor. Um, that helps a lot. Um, ideally these things are pretty much maxed out at about 80, 85 millimeter. Um, going with a 90 here really doesn't increase the CFM capacity of the throttle body tunnel because that this is not the restriction. The restriction is actually where it necks down in here. But, you know, we improve on that um, without hacking up the manifold too much. <laughs> um, and we don't use JB Weld. <laughs> Unlike some individuals will accuse us that we use JB well. No, we know how to TIG well. We actually do it the right way. And if we use any filler, it's going to be an all metal type of filler, um, which actually can be powder coated. But that's just for cosmetic purposes. It's not for structural purposes. It's not for adding material purposes. It's just for cosmetic purposes to make the manifolds look pretty, you know, when we coat them. Um, so... If anybody says that big dogs use JB well, they're freaking lying. And you can tell them to come see, you know, come see Lamont. <laughs> they don't want to come see me. <laughs> they come see Lamont. You know, Lamont will give a little bit more mercy. <laughs> you give him mercy, Mont? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you you don't want to see Lamont then. Well, anyway, um, so we're gonna go ahead. We have the number one runner set up, um, like I said, this was stage three. The customer wanted an average CFM flow bolted together of 375 CFM, which is a lot. <laughs> okay, 375, that's a lot. That's a lot of CFM. That's more than I would say the majority, if not all, out the box small block Ford um, carb single plane intake manifolds. Um, but you know how we do it. You know, um, it's he asked for a lot because he has a nice size motor. I think he has like a 440 something cubic inch motor. Um, but we went on ahead and he was. Basically asking about the turnaround time, uh, he was getting kind of antsy, so we we ended up only doing like four or five rounds of porting. And when I say four or five rounds of porting, is basically we'll rough port this port, okay, um, the lower and upper, and then we'll go back, bolt it all together, and flow it. Okay, um, this started off at two sixty nine, the first. Rough cut probably gave us about 330. Then we take it all down, take it all down, work it some more, 
put it back together, flow it again. That may have gotten us, you know, uh, 342. And then we keep doing that until we either get to the point where we're getting thin in critical areas um, that we can't really weld or don't want to weld or until we get close to our CFM um, target. And then from there, we'll clean cut and then sand it down, you know, for the cosmetic purposes. And that usually gets us, you know, within five, 10 CFM of our goal. Uh, many times it gets us over, um, but now, you know, we're moving faster and faster and faster because more and more people are complaining about the turnaround time. So we got to move faster, <laughs> you know, um, with this manifold, I did all the rough cut, um, all the welding and Lamont, he did all the fine cut and all the sand rolling. And he did also did the sand blasting and tear down. He, I mean, he does a really good job. You know, I can't, I can't say too much about him. You know, I gotta say, I gotta kind of, kind of, you know, um, um, treat him nice, you guys, because he's building this this beast of a of a, of a motor, and 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 I did the port work on it. He did, the, you know, doing a lot to it, and and I know he's gonna call me out. <laughs> yeah. And I don't want to be on YouTube getting my ass kicked, so I'm I'm gonna treat him nice, guy. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and start the flow bench up, and we're gonna flow the number one runner right here and we're also going to flow the number four runner um and see what the results are now mind you we don't have a radius on here with this 90 millimeter opening you really don't need a radius and and even with the radius this opening is not the restriction it's actually this tunnel right here um the runners themselves um if this wasn't a major restriction or i wouldn't say major the last major, the last biggest restriction, these runners, you know, um, could flow a lot more than what this thing is actually going to flow. But with the CFM that this, that we hope this thing flows, it's going to support a tremendous amount of power, you know. So we're going to go ahead, pause it, and set the flow bench up and start it up. So we have the flow bench set up, ready to go. We're only going to run two motors. Um, you guys know our flow bench calculates everything to 28 inches. We've done videos showing that we change the depression live and the flow bench calculates back to 28 inches and the results are the same, whether it's, you know, 24 inches, 28 inches, 31 inches, 15 inches, it's going to calculate pretty much the same. So, um, to save our motors, we only run four majority of the time and we're doing that now running four. So let's go ahead and see what the number one runner on the stage three Victor EFI manifold will do. <laughs> so we're looking at about 366, 367. Yeah, 367, 368 actually. 367 to 368. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's excellent. That's pretty much 100 CFM. Started off at 269 on this one. And now we're at 367, 368. So, I mean, it didn't quite reach the 375, but you have to remember, this is the number one runner, which is one of the weakest runners on this particular manifold. And what we try to do, we try to balance them all, we try to get them close, you know, um, um, that way your tuning and your air fuel ratio from cylinder to cylinder is, is pretty close. But 368 CFM, both together, that's great. That's excellent. That's pretty much a 100 CFM gain. And, um, you know, I don't know anybody else out there that's, that's doing that, especially at this price. This is a, a older order, so this, this price was ridiculously low. Um, of course, we're not at that price anymore. <laughs> so this customer, he got a hell of a deal so far. So we're gonna go ahead, take it down, 
strap up the number four runner and see what that does. So we have the number four runner bolted up. It's a straighter runner, um, but like I said before, um, with this particular manifold, the restriction is not so much the runners. Um, we got these runners opened up pretty well. We didn't sleeve these bolt holes that goes through the runners. We thinned them out um, pretty good, but we didn't sleeve them because um, we pressed for time and um, that would probably yield a few more CFM, but it's a tremendous amount of work sleeving all of those and making sure they're sealed up pretty well. We're good at that, but um, with this manifold, with the CFM, this manifold is gonna be putting out, it's gonna be able to support a tremendous amount of horsepower. Um, this is a dry manifold, so it's kind of different. The CFM flow from a dry manifold is different from a carb manifold because it doesn't have to share the runner with fuel. Okay, the fuel on this manifold is delivered via injectors. So it's a dry manifold. So the CFM is actually um, more CFM in the application than you would see in a similarly flowing carb manifold. So let's go ahead and flow this, see what it does. So this one you're looking at about 364, 360, about 364, 365. Yep, 364, 365. So there you have it. Um, this manifold is probably going to have a bolt together average runner flow of about 365, 368, you know, which is um, about 10 to 8 CFM away from the target goal, which was 375. Um, didn't hit the target. Uh, we could if we had some more time to work on it. But with the shop being as full as we are with so many orders, and everybody's calling about, you know, the status. Um, we just simply have to get this one going so we can, you know, continue to work on other orders. Um, 365, 368 is great CFM for this manifold. That's pretty much a uh, hundred CFM gain per runner. Um, so it's going to make a tremendous amount of power. You do the calculation that's with the right combo that can take advantage of this CFM and the short runners, you're talking about well over 700 horsepower to the flywheel naturally aspirating. And this manifold will be able to pull, you know, 7,500, 8,000 RPM with no problem. With the right setup, you got to have a camshaft, something like a, a nice solid roller with maybe like a 250 to 265 um, duration, something like, you know, 650 lift, um, 700 thousandths of an inch lift. Um, you can probably do it with 10.5 to 1 all the way up to, if you want to do E85, you can do 12.5 to 1, 13 to 1, you know, nice size headers, nice exhaust system. And put it all together with a great tune, great throttle body, great intake. And this thing can easily, you know, 700, 750, you know, possibly even 800 horsepower at the flywheel with the right combo. You know, a uh, large cubic inch small block, something in the 440s, you know, 427, spinning high. So here you go. It is what it is. We're tired. Get ready to go home. And... See you guys at the track.